Hey, 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 welcome to my channel. My name is Paula and in today's video, I will share with you the luxury wish list of 2024. I have had the habit of filming these type of wish list videos. I have a bit like mixed feelings about them. On the other hand, I think they might not be super good because that means that I'm always looking out for something and not just like completely being in contempt with what I already own and just like naturally waiting if something new would come along that I would be interested in. So that's kind of the, the downside of having a wish list. On the other hand, I feel like it kind of guides me and stops me <laughs> of just being impulsive on every direction and I actually consider what I'm interested in. And for me, a wish list doesn't mean that I would 100% buy everything that I have on the list, or at least even dream of buying everything I have on the list. It's more about items that I am super interested in to kind of finding out more about. Some I'm more certain than the others that I actually want to purchase. And then others are something that I'm just very intrigued. I want to know more. I will probably go and look at some of them and just figure out along the way how it goes and if it actually would be good for me. So wishlist is not something that I will 100% buy everything on it. And I've kind of divided this into two, di two different videos. This, uh, if it's even possible to say, is something that I am actually considering. Something that I'm truly processing if I would want to buy. I will make another wish list video, which is more like a dreamy kind of video of luxury items that I am very much interested in, but for a reason or another, I'm not realistically considering buying. At least now, you never know what happens. But just so you know that this is more about kind of realistic wish list, but kind of not, because I don't know everything about everything I have on the list, if I truly want it or not. So like realistic interest list and the other one is purely like wishful thinking list. Okay, now that I have confused this enough and talking about the video that is not this one, let's maybe focus on what I actually am thinking about in the year 2024. So the first item that I have on my obsession list at the moment is a Chanel wallet on chain. And I can't really <laughs> believe myself of actually putting this out there because I'm a hypocrite. A few years back, I totally felt that it's not worth the price, but that was also before I had no Chanel bags. And I mean, I have only vintage ones, let's be fair. I haven't still, I still feel that they are so overpriced <laughs> in what they are, but, um, I am a person who is able to downsize and I like smaller bags. I feel like I don't want to have a big bag because I don't carry that much with me. So I kind of feel that there's a lot of wasteful space in it. So the more compact everything is, the happier I am. And I have kind of had this idea in my mind for probably like six months now that I could definitely incorporate a Chanel walk into my life and lifestyle. And it kind of kick-started really badly when I saw a um, kind of caramel brown wok with silver hardware sold on a pre-owned website with a really good price point, it being a Chanel wok. So I think they were asking like 1,400 of it. Um, it wasn't in perfect condition, I wouldn't mind, but it would it wasn't. And it was over 10 years old, the model. So that probably explains the price. Plus it wasn't black caviar with gold hardware or something like that. Um, but that kind of truly got stuck in my mind. And I've since started looking a bit more on different pre-owned sites, uh, what the price points are and so on. I'm not looking specifically for a black one. Although a black with silver hardware would be a dream. I would definitely go for it, but I don't want to pay over 2000 euros. I just, I don't want to, uh, if it's too much. So probably I will need to figure out like a more colorful, well, colorful being like dark blue or brown or something. But uh, if I would come across a black with silver hardware with a good price point, 
that would be like the the dream on this but like a dark navy blue mm, would look really great i mean the brown with the silver was great maybe even like this beige with silver i mean as you can hear silver hardware is what i'm after uh so yeah this is definitely something that i have my eye on constantly on the pre-owned of if there is anything i would be interested in we will see how it goes uh, but um yeah i think that's the the first first on my list that i am most serious about let's put it that way <laughs> second thing maybe this is in order maybe not in like what i actually want and i'm looking for but i am kind of hitting myself mentally of actually even wanting this but the hermes is it chipre uh, sandals i'm really sorry i don't know how this is supposed to be pronounced I should have checked, but uh, you know, that kind of dad sandal vibe that Hermes has. And this is, I would not buy from the like reselling market. The prices are ridiculous. Luckily, my foot is big enough that I can look from the men's line <laughs> from Hermes as well. And at least what I've looked now, they have more sizes, more colors, more everything in stock. Uh, compared to the women's so that's that's great um i did notice that hermes had a price increase in the beginning of this year these went also up in price i'm not surprised but they did and it's kind of steep of dreaming of over 700 euros worth of sandals we'll see how it goes but i've just like uh I love wearing this style of sandals during the summertime. They are super easy and comfortable. And as orans are just not for me, um, this would be really nice. And I don't know what it is. Maybe I'm brainwashed, but just this H on top of the foot, it's just like, it looks great. Uh, yet kind of neutral, but still like, maybe you know, or then you don't understand at all. And you think I'm completely crazy of even dreaming of this type of thing. Something that I noticed on Hermes site that on the men's like sandal sized, uh, there are other type of sandals uh, that are made for men. And I've watched some videos. Uh, they have these Izmir sandals. They look really comfortable, kind of the orange, but for men, they have like a bigger H on the top. But at least in the videos I've seen, people say that they are very comfortable. Also women who have bought them say that they're very comfortable. Um, so that's, um, I have been looking at these on the pre-owned, uh, but yeah, we, I don't know. The, the cheap press sandals are like the number one out of these. And then the men also have these espadrilles. Um, that look really nice and comfortable, but I don't think I would need those. I mean, I wouldn't need any of these, but those are like the last one, <laughs> one on my list. But I mean, if, if they walk uh, by me in a very good price, who knows, but not, not as the like priority. Uh, when I have been looking on Hermes site, I have seen these on the women's side and they look beautiful, especially this color combination um but the price point no uh but these look really nice but i'm not even gonna <laughs> dream about them because this is just over everything <laughs> uh i live in a country where summer is actually quite short so why would i spend this much on sandals i don't know um but still i'm dreaming <laughs> third on my list i actually don't have that long of a list which i am really happy about but that can also mean that during the year i will get my attention will be caught up in different places but um i would definitely want like a summary bag and what i mean with this is i have been looking at this loeve bag um i think this this is very summery and it has a crossbody strap you can have it handheld it looks very versatile my problem is that it's just like an open thingy and this can't really be used anyway else than during the summer months and 
so that kind of makes me hesitate a bit. Last summer, Celine had this style of a bag. I will share a photo from Instagram from a person I'm following. Um, they do still sell this style in leather, uh, but last year they had this also in this kind of canvas thing. And this would be so gorgeous for the summer. It's also very summery, but maybe not as much as the Loewe one. So if, if Celine brings it out again this year, or if I can find it from the pre-owned, hmm, uh, maybe I'm even, even more inclined towards the Celine uh because i think it's more versatile it's more like a handbag looking thing it has a zipper uh and i do have the loewe basket bag so maybe the loewe one would be a repeating a bit on the style even though it's a completely different thing i don't know uh, but i kind of would want a summary bag so this is it, it could be either of these it could be something completely different but this is something that I have been really playing around in my head and I will probably do a bit of more research and look at things and we'll see. But what I do want to say is that making these kind of collective videos of me doing research on specific th themes such as the greatest summer bags from Loewe, which I did last year in the summertime, which made me figure out of this Loewe bag, it's dangerous. Um, I don't know if I should do those type of videos because I might find something myself that I'm interested in after doing that research. I don't know if I would have been aware of the bag otherwise. Who knows? Um, but here we are. So I am now looking at that bag. Fourth thing on this kind of luxury list would be a white handbag and maybe this is also because the summer is coming and maybe it is because last year i bought a white handbag from Pelen. well it wasn't like white white it was uh chalk so not really bright white but still and it didn't work out for me so i sold it and now i'm again without a white bag and uh, I don't know if this has been like, I'm completely influenced by watching certain people on social media, uh, but for some reason, like the Fendi baguettes in white looks really lovely. Uh, also, I'm aware that the leather is super soft and squishy and it might lose its shape. So I've also been thinking of the mini baguette in white, maybe that wouldn't lose its shape so much and it has a longer strap, uh, maybe looks better crossbody. I don't know these are very expensive though so i'm kind of thinking maybe not i'm gonna go for it we'll see uh because yeah i'm trying really to not shop as much this year as i have the previous years fingers crossed um but this is definitely something i have been looking at for the recent months and watching videos and doing some research if i can come up with something on the pre-owned you never know i wouldn't buy them new but we'll see how it goes um some other white bags i would be definitely open to check out i think they would look look really nice in the summer months and also in the winter if you just like style them well enough or i don't know well enough that doesn't even mean anything if you just can find how they work for you and they don't get color transfer from any darker colors so yeah, that, that's kind of the fourth thing here. And the fifth, the final thing has nothing to do with fashion and it is actually related to traveling. So as we got the puppy last year, we haven't really done anything, obviously. We've just been at home or gone to our cottage, just like spend some time with the dog. And this year, because we used to travel quite a lot with my husband during the year, um, we would want to travel this year again. We have uh, asked for dog sitters. Uh, we have plenty of volunteers, but actually like having something concrete, we have already done that. And we are planning a longer trip to Greece this year and probably investing a bit in the hotels. So that would then be kind of a luxurious experience and definitely taking some money. <laughs> Uh, from my bank account but definitely worth it and then this year we have our five-year anniversary and we have been talking for almost five years that we're gonna go to France to the Champagne region back there because we were there on our honeymoon uh, one part we spent there and then the rest we spent somewhere else and um, 
So that would then be coming up in the autumn, most likely. So I would want to save up some money to be able to like have super nice experiences abroad and not necessarily like shopping, but investing in the accommodation, in the restaurants, in just like activities over there. Um, so yeah, that would then probably be the fifth thing <laughs> where I, it's going to be luxury for me and definitely something on my wish list for this year. Uh, and I would imagine even more realistic than probably the fashion stuff because that's something we're going to do together and we want to do together so that will have priority over any of these shopping items over here but yeah i think that's it on the like luxurious stuff i do have some other just like purely wish list things i want to do this year i wanted a tattoo for i don't know 20 years but i've been so afraid of needles and I really wanted to like think about it and consider it uh, so that I don't take it out on a whim. And I feel like during the past five years, yeah, I'm a, I was <laughs> when it comes to these things. But during the past five years, I've kind of really decided that I want one and I already know what I want because I wanted the same thing for forever. So maybe this year would be the thing. Last year, I already made some email contact with a tattoo artist, but um we were going on our summer vacation and if you take the tattoo you need to avoid sun and like water and these things so it wasn't timing wise good and then we came back from the vacation and i i don't know got scared a bit <laughs> but maybe this year would actually be the year i turn 35 so maybe that would be like the milestone for it but that is also on my wish list not luxury wise or maybe it is i don't know uh we'll see how it goes i've at least said it now out loud <laughs> so we'll see what do you have your on your wish list it can be luxury or something else i would be super curious to know so please let's continue in the comments down below thank you for watching and see you in my next video bye